Hey guys, so um, Primetri Labs, the company behind the Geekbench platform, has just announced the platform's latest version, Geekbench 5. It is already available for Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and iOS, and should hit Android later this week. Both the CPU and GPU calculations are now working in a way that models the challenges a device faces when running the latest applications. There is also dark mode on the Mac OS with iOS 13 support coming later this year. The new Geekbench 5 variant will drop support for 32-bit processors and operating systems. Removing these processes, the benchmark now can include more ambitious benchmark tests with larger data sets and longer running times. The new variant increases the memory footprint of existing workloads to account for the effect of memory performance on CPU. There are also new modes of multi 3 d benchmarks that will allow Geekbench 5 to capture better the performance of multi 3 d applications. The changes in how the platform calculates the GPU computations are also intriguing. It's new sport, Vulkan, CUDA, Metal and OpenCL. It also runs a new benchmark test that model algorithms that accelerate the GPU so it knows when the phone software is artificially pumping more power to the GPU. Having a completely new calculation process will mean that scores from Geekbench 5 cannot be compared to Geekbench 4 and its sub-variants.